Now, all I have to do is provide all the information needed. And then once you have that settled, now, once you have successfully created your account here in MX Toolbox, you will be forwarded to the main platform. And you may easily notice that it provides a clean interface and have an intuitive feel. On the top corner, we have all the sections that we can explore. Obviously, we are on the pricing tab, which gives you the pricing plans if in case you wanted to upgrade to the delivery center, which is around $129 per month, and the delivery center plus, which is $399. But for now, it's very important we leverage and utilize the tools here in the free trial. Speaking of tools, we're going to go to the tools tab here on the top corner. Okay, so... With the tools, we can have all the two utilities that we can use for the DNS email and network diagnostics. I want you to click the drop down menu here. You can, of course, use the MX lookup, blacklist check, DNS lookup, test email server, and a lot more. Say, for example, we're going to be using the MX lookup. All right. You can look up for anything like a blacklist, SMTP, and a lot more. If we go to the section for DNS lookup, you can also do it here, which gives you the ability for spot checking domain health or solving email issues. So for example, we're going to be typing in a specific website, youtube.com. Let's try it in. So the gear icon gives you the uh, analysis. So once it's loaded, you'll have all the information needed here. And as you can see, the type is CNAME, domain name is here, is in the canonical name is that. The TTL is five minutes. Result is absolutely really great to check if the domain health is very uh, successful, All right? Now with the tool, we can also go to the section of the delivery center. The thing with the delivery center is a premium feature for monitoring email delivery health, okay? Across your domains. But since we are not, do not have that uh, feature. We are only using the free. We kind of have, like I have an unlimited section, but it would provide insights into email spoofing, impersonation, attempts, and source IPs. All right, you would have the domain summary here, which is a good thing. But the thing is, we're not able to access that. We're gonna go to the monitoring. The monitoring is a central hub to configure automatic monitoring of your mail service. So you have the up. Warming and down kind of email delivery report. And if you want to add a new monitor, you can do that here. All right. So you can choose from the blacklist SMTP, top port, website, for example, um, youtube.com. Let's take that for an example. You can click the advanced options wherein you can have the timeout sections and must contain. And of course, from here, you can click the add monitor. So it's not configuring the information for you. Within, you can send email alerts if problems are detected. Like for example, you have like a blacklist IP or DNS failure. You can have it here. You would have the uh, notifications, which you can configure the alert settings, all right? You can choose when and how you want to be notified like email frequency, Useful for real time alerts for on blacklisting, DNS changes or outages. Now, you see that there's going to be the tags. This will allow you to organize to monitor with custom tags. If you have that, let's click on tags. It will help group related domains, IPs and services for easier management. And then if you want to create a new tag, you're kind of like, um, welcome to do that. Let's say how. In this instance, I'm going to be using this. I'm going to add that tag right here. Okay. Now the history shows any logs of past events and monitoring results. You can track when a domain was blacklisted. You see that right here. These are going to be your history. DNS change or an outage was detected. The availability tracks and reports the uptime and downtime of monitored services. Since we are focused on YouTube.com, we would be able to have any important for maintaining service level agreements or diagnosing connectivity issues. The outages logs 
when a service or domain wasn't unavailable. All right, includes timestamps, duration, and potential causes. Of course, again, the add monitor is what we have done earlier. If you wanted to add as an SMTP, TCP port, website, DNS record, delivery center, and a lot mail flow, you can add it here. But it requires you to log in to another web website. All right. And then after that, let's go to the products. Okay. Now within the products here in MX Toolbox, you can have the overview of all the paid offerings. All right. You can have a uh, delivery center, domain health monitoring, blacklist monitoring, API access, and managed services. You see, there's going to be the blacklist solutions. Deliver Center, Deliver Center Plus. These are different services that you can try within the product department of MX Toolbox. All right. Obviously, if you wanted to know more about MX Toolbox, you might want to go to the blog because the blog gives you articles, updates, and best practices. You can have like email security topics, DNS configuration, phishing prevention, and a lot more right here. Okay. And then next is going to be the support. If you click on the support, you can have an instant access to customer service and technical support, providing you documentation, tutorials, FAQs, and contact options. You have the knowledge base and the status right here, which is kind of really helpful at this point. And then there are other options here on the top corner where you can have the search button. You can find anything that contains a specific keywords or tags or filters. All right. You can go for the different commands from A until propagation and a lot more. You also have in the tags, the status or clear search. You can also sort it by status and by order like descending and ascending. And of course, there's going to be more options for the view ones right here. And of course, if you wanted to refresh the active monitor, you can do that. And basically that's our short walkthrough in using MX Toolbox, the super tool, which is a must have in your digital toolkit. You may notice that it's reliable, fast, and incredibly informative, especially the free tools. However, for advanced monitoring and alerts, the paid plans offers solid value too. Now, if you have any questions or want to share your, your thoughts if you have used MX Toolbox in the past, drop a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Do not forget to like and hit the bell icon so you never miss out on more tech tutorials just like this one. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you again in the next video.